Here we are at Farley's office. One cannot say that ethics play a very large role in his life. Look at the headlines pinned to the walls, like trophies of bad taste. Perhaps we will finally begin to understand the reasons for his persistence in tarnishing your reputation. Perhaps. Coffee. It's still hot. This is an electric box. Interesting. I cannot leave now. Oh, wrong. Time to go. Uh. Just check all the pockets real quick. Cigarettes, an ordinary, inexpensive brand. A press card. Osmond Farley. It's his overcoat. This door is locked. Is Farley afraid of being interrupted suddenly? I must go out for a while, Miss Jean. I won't be long. Ask my appointments to wait and send this message as a matter of urgency. Mr. Osmond Farley, I presume? Messrs. Holmes and Watson. What a surprise. What is there so surprising about being visited by the targets of your slander? I never slander. I inform. You will have to accept the consequences of these articles, Mr. Farley. Those words sound like a threat, Mr. Holmes. I never threaten. I merely warn. You don't frighten me, Mr. Holmes. I have my dog doing my dirty work. I know work. all of your little secrets. And soon all of London will find out what really hides behind the facade of the impeccable detective. Thanks to my work, the whole world will discover the true Sherlock Holmes. Gentlemen, I don't wish you a good day. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. What a bore. Even to the point of refusing to shake our hands. Which means that we can avoid... It's okay, what? Well, I, I would not. Did you notice hand. the crumbs on his jacket? He had just finished eating and his hands will be covered in grease, the same as his mouth. Slovenly habits. That's quite disgusting, Holmes. Do not be deceived, Watson. The workmanship in those tailor-made clothes indicate that he is a man who takes pride in his appearance. If Farley has left without brushing off his jacket or washing his hands, then it is because he spotted our approach and wished to avoid us at all costs. But why? We will find out by searching his office. The secretary will stop you. Please reassure me, Holmes, you don't intend upon knocking her out? Only if we exhaust every other viable alternative. We need our dog back in here. You can always dump her back in the lava. The secretary is occupied in sending a telegram via their electric telegraph. Farley asked that she should do so before he left. We must find a way of interrupting the transmission, which will oblige her to go to the telegraph office in... I know where electric box is. It will take her some time to get there, and if we add on the time it takes to send the telegram and then return here, we should have ample time to search the office without being disturbed. I suppose it's unnecessary to point out the illegality of this search? I'm afraid so. <laughs> yup. You're catching out, Watson. It's not illegal. I don't do it. It's not illegal. I need a tool to remove the lid. Oh. That is nice, though. This is an electric... I need a tool to... Well, I have it nice. Yeah, she's a cigarette, cigarette. too. Cigarette. Maybe they'll work. This is an electric... I need no. a tool to what remove the, the lid. Oh, no. Next time it's screwed. Use that coat hanger. Give an abortion while you're at it. This hanger has a large iron hook. Okay, let's use the open this Yep. This is retarded. I it's can hear an electrical right. humming. Just, just like the secretary oh. is using the electricity supplied by this switch. Damn Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's turning to the left. Good. I think anything causes a like, short circuit. Like, yeah, anything you do will probably cause a short circuit. Doubt it. Because it's not even connected anymore, so how in the hell? Come on, that'd be the easy way. What do you think the puzzle is? Dude, I don't know. To connect them There's all three, together. There's three, I guess. I guess. Even though I would assume that would not cause a short circuit. But. <laughs> 
We're actually fixing it. It was already short circuited. No, it probably just kind of all together considering it wasn't connected before. I don't know. We'll just connect them all together. Too. We'll go with that. I'm on it. Uh, they can't. Yeah, no. Um, let's, okay, maybe we can't. Mm -hmm. Let's just have a look at it. Right. Well, that piece has to go that way. Maybe they're not all supposed to. At least connect two of them. Yeah, they probably would do that since they just, you know, just do it and don't do it. That's two connected. Try pulling the switch. Might as well, yeah, pull the switch. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. What oh, really? You gotta be up through more. Turn it. Turn it. What? That, no, Let that. us see if I can cause that one. a short that. circuit. This? No, I don't. To the right. Yeah, it's going on the right. Keep going. There you go. Keep it, keep it going. One more. There you go. Let us see if I can what cause a short circuit. Oh wait, the, that one's not connected. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. I uh. I can't. If you turn that one, and then the one on the left. Oh no, you can't get the bottom one. Damn it. Uh, yeah, you can. Turn the trip, turn the T one. Oh, no. This one? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. No, turn. This one? Oh, that one has to. So you can't connect any other way. Oh, wait. Oh, then, not, then the oh, other no, one's no, not connected. No, no, no. Turn. pieces have to stay the same because you can't connect them any other way. Yeah. Yeah. Like these ones are all right right here. And then those and two. And then up to, up to these. Yeah, these yeah those right. four. Yeah. This four could go either way. Okay. Let's go left or right. Well, fuck it. Flip it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's do this right. You just got to do, do some random shit until it all works. Uh, turn the one over there, far left. Yeah, and the one underneath it. This one? Far left. Yeah. One more. And then the other one below it. Change that one down. So you can't connect to the same below? Yeah, right. Um, what about across from it, though? I hate to put that mouse hat in front of it. I can't see anything. Down. Oh, no. There's only a few more things to do. Uh. There we are. Oh, yeah. It is simplicity itself. Oh, that's just too bad. Get out quickly, Watson. I'm going to hide here. Hide in his chair, Watson. <laughs> the way is clear. Um, where were the lights on hiding? The ceiling. That's pretty good. Ninja, Watson. <laughs> Just get out of the way. I'm gonna hide behind in the good spot. Let's go, Watson. A page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. With your copy over here? You can read shorthand. You never cease to amaze me. Were you a secretary before becoming the great Sher? Perhaps, perhaps, but no, a man must have his Their secrets. dialogue and cutting off is horrible. You cut off right. And no, he never does. So, no, they don't talk over it fast enough. Oh, my God. So, I'm that slow. A makeup case. 
with a good brush. You didn't need that. Just use the brush first. I can make out the marks. I must look. And here he said. I must look more attentively. I can make out the marks. I can make out the marks. But I need something to bring them to light. I must look. I must. I must. I must look more attentively. Look up the page. Someone has written something on a sheet of paper. There are traces of it remaining. Try clicking. I can make up. I can make out the marks, but I need. I must. I must. I must. No, I can't use any of them. Makes no sense. It's not the puzzle thing. I'm. I must look. What are you gonna use? I must look. I must look more attentively. And what? I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. I can make out the marks, but I... The ribbon is missing from this machine. The secretary has just changed the typewriter ribbon. There are smudges of dark blue ink. Here is Farley's secretary's telegram. Nothing special here. This paper only just escaped the flames. But who is this note about? And who wrote it? I will deal with it later. This book has fallen down from the shelf. Called Sherlock Holmes. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. My word, it's my stories about your investigations. A real investigative reporter must have read them, my dear Watson. My adventures have fallen from this shelf. Someone closed the curtain as though he wanted to maintain his privacy. This cabinet has a lot of drawers, each marked with a letter. There is surely a great deal of information in them. But we can't open all of them. We must know yeah, what we're true. looking for. A bunch of keys. A telephone. A technological marvel. A number was written next to it quite recently. Fine, educated hand. Holmes, this number seems very familiar. Yes, but let us dial it to be sure. Miss, get me 1313, please. It is Scotland Yard, of course. I'm beginning to understand. Lucky you. Yeah, I'm down. I don't understand what you're talking about. 1313. Judging from all the notes on the board, our oh, reporter yeah, yeah, yeah. is an assiduous and organized worker. Photograph of Prince Woodville. Farley is evidently also interested in this affair. A horrible story, and rather a strange one.
Here's what is strange. An attack of collective insanity. This ashtray is worth examining. This ash comes from an ordinary, well-known brand of cigarettes. It is still warm. This cigar is of a fine quality. It must be very expensive and difficult to obtain. And it is not even finished. What a waste. This ashtray. Ashtray. The cigar end is still hot. Farley was not alone when we arrived at his secretary's office. We are thinking of the owner of the cigar. Yes, the reporter smokes ordinary cigarettes. Can you smell the subtle scent of gingerbread? That is the characteristic odor of Habano Clarissimo. Our mysterious visitor is a rich man, Watson. This category of Havanas is exorbitant, and I cannot imagine a cigar lover crushing out such a marvelous smoke before finishing it. Since we saw no one leaving the building, that must point to a secret exit somewhere. How are we going to find it? By retracing Farley's steps from the moment before we arrived. Look, this room is teeming with clues. Say what the places are really. Oh, it does. Right now. Like, what's that thing at the desk? That is that just him at the desk? It's like purple. Like all those circles aren't part of the desk. Oh, sure. This armchair is out of place. Yeah, this check the diaper. Yeah. But we can't open all. Our man left his sandwich unfinished. Still one more clue here. Oh. Oh, I need the axe now. The fuck? I put the ash down. I can make out the marks. But down the butt. I understand what you want to do. It's an old. I can see what has been written. Please write it down. Very well, Holmes. Followed home. Here's D's. I wonder which drawer the secretary was interested in. The DF drawer, of course. The one in the message that we deciphered from the secretary's desk blotter. Closed. Well... I just keep putting in his key. The DF drawer. Oh, it's actually There are a lot of cards. How to find the right one? Uh. Click on everyone. Uh, no. Uh. It's gotta be something. I can't do that. Can't do it. No, it is unnecessary. I don't know. 
I just click on all of them. You already went through them all. I don't know what piece of paper looks like somewhat familiar. These blue stains come oh, from an old typewriter ribbon. This card has been removed recently. Right, I see the post. This card has got grease marks on it. The reporter made them. Apparently, he's making inquiries about Prince Woodville, too. But where do you come into all this? Look, if we pull the curtain a little, we can see out into the street. Someone... So we are sure, pretty sure that it's all home through the window. Mm -hmm. Then he got all scared and ran and hit the chair. Then I think, yeah, I forgot to put the magnifying glass in the door. The key is still in the lock. Closed the door and left the key there. So that was a little path. Here the visitor smoked a cigar. He, he came into the door, started smoking some stuff. When he. Let's see. Drop that and. Put the paper in the fire. That would be the first. Farley consulted a card while he ate, which was given to him by his secretary just before she changed the ribbon on her typewriter. The reporter's greasy fingerprints are all over the card. When he went to file it away, he glanced automatically out of the window and saw us in the street. He closed the filing cabinet and rushed to lock his office door. In his haste, he pushed his chair aside but didn't think to return it to its place. Precisely. He then hurried to tell his visitor of our arrival and showed him the way out. He then threw a piece of paper into the fireplace. But we still don't know how the cigar-smoking visitor departed. The answer lies in the direction the reporter took, Watson. At a certain moment, he would have been in a place where he had no logical reason to be. Look at our deduction board, and then let us go to the place where the reporter should not be. I assume that's by the books. Perfect. Secret bookcase. Yes, Watson. In his haste, Farley dropped this book, taking it from the shelf. Let's search this place. What should we do next, Holmes? You want you to search the place? You know you already did that like four times. There's a control box built into the filing cabinet. This box must open the secret door. We don't know the combination, Holmes. The answer is perhaps within the question, my dear fellow. Yeah. How do you yeah, switch? What, what, what do you switch? Do you? What do the arrows do? I know, but what? Does it go through everything or is it just certain ones? You can't change the top, the first three. 4D10. Anything else you can change to any letter, any number. The 4D10 is the clue. What clue? That is the clue of what the next three are going to be. Because you can't change them, so.
Yeah. 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 Yeah
His hair is graying, and judging by the odor, he puts camphor on it. He is probably in his early 50s. Slight scratch marks. Slight scratch marks. The man wears glasses, and whenever he puts them on, he grazes the sides of his hat. This would suggest that he is educated and long sighted. He wears glasses, so he must be educated, Kyle. Back in the day, that's how it worked. <laughs> Tim, you're very educated. <laughs> Check the tag. Is that what you're this hat was made. Oh. Heat marks and a strong smell of tobacco. A cigar smoker, which confirms that this hat belongs to the reporter's visitor. I now have an excellent description of the man that I am looking for. The journalist's mysterious visitor is in a profession highly placed on the social scale. And we know by the glass. He is rich and married. He mm. must have called Scotland Yard in Farley's presence. He frequents the law courts from which he makes his purchases. This man is a judge. Sure. Let us look through my files what? to see if I can you identify this judge. I have a memoir on the most influential judges. Memoirs. Why are you keeping your memoirs? I have found my file. I must place it on my work table. God, that far shiny. Sherlock Holmes has Watson and mouth that every day. Oh my god. Okay. Um. He wears a hat. Are there like more people that I can? Are there is this there? Oh, he does not wear a hat. Gray hair. He does not wear. Wait, this is black and white. How do you? <laughs> Glasses. Is he wearing glasses? Dude, I can't even tell. It doesn't look I like think it. he is. So, so oh, he is a cigar. And married. His hair is white, though. It's black and white. That could be green. His hair, I don't know. I'm married. just gonna assume it's black. Married, but I don't think he has glasses. He does have glasses. Yeah. He is married. His hair is kind of gray. I'll go with it. I don't know what he's called. Yeah, they do wear a hat. Oh yeah. What if I say this? I don't think, does he smoke a cigar? I don't know what that that's is. A, I'm pretty sure that's a cane. Yeah. You guys are calling that a hat? No, this is a hat on his No, this right, yeah, that's black. Okay. <laughs> so what are you trying to do? Trying to... I guess you gotta match every... Well, match them all three of them? Five churches, seven... Do you yeah. think one would be all of them? Yeah, but doesn't wear a hat. No, but oh, this guy has a cigar. If anything to do in the middle has no, all. I'm just gonna say it right here. I'm, I'm saying I'm the, yeah. I'm thinking that dude has all. Just say he wears glasses. I'm sure he has glasses somewhere. Huh? That right. was kind of too. You know, he might be wearing glasses. I Judge can't tell. Beckett. That was too easy. It wasn't easy. Those pictures are Have horrible. That was easy. Day. Watson, you have this hat, glasses, a coots, you have glasses, a you get a cigar. Palace of Justice I'm almost sure I could just check every single one of the boxes Wait, and I'm trying to just yeah. Probably. Yeah. That's it. Yes, that's it. 
What an extraordinary coincidence. Holmes, I was reading something about him in the Globe Explorer only this morning. Decidedly, this Beckett seems to have solid ties with the gutter press. I bought it from a rascal who ran off without giving me my change. I'm sure that I've seen him before, and... Spare me the details, Watson. Show me the article. <laughs> I don't pay your talk. Judge's wife had school for like litter. So, children. Lady Beckett is on holiday in Portsmouth. That means her husband is at home alone. Good. We shall pay a courtesy call, Watson. With a little luck, we shall leave with a few Habanos Clarissimo. That you should interest a judge of the High Court isn't surprising. You have solved so many criminal affairs that there are a thousand reasons why a magistrate should be interested in you. But why should this one feel the need to act in shadows? It's true that it's surprising. Perhaps he simply wishes to avoid being seen in the company of this Farley fellow. Mr. Kirby, our local postman, owes me a favor. He'll give me Beckett's address. At this hour, he should still be at the post office. I'll go there, Holmes. Good, Watson, but be quick about it. While you're gone, I'll make preparations for our visit. Sir Coots Beckett. I've got the address. We can go round after a nice cup of tea. Don't get too comfortable, Watson. We're leaving immediately. <laughs> 